So hello everyone, I just want to show you here, I am on Champs-Elysees and I wanted to show you the main shop for uh, RV product and it's uh, related to China because when you go there usually there is a big queue, a long queue during the holidays of uh, Chinese people who will do the shopping and many uh, Chinese people in fact they buy the product here where it's cheaper as, it, as compared to China then they will bring it back either to make present, either to sell it and make a small margin on it and there's something else here uh, that is also related to China, that is the Chinese um, visa center and it's located just here on the left, so if you need to do your visa and you are in France, you are a foreigner, that's where you need to go. And uh, before they were not located here, before they were located together with the Chinese uh, embassy and it was much better because the service was faster and you didn't have uh, was uh, much more efficient. I think now they ask uh, some uh, go-between company to uh, do all the visa um, process for them and it's really not uh, not as efficient as it used to be. Especially for the visa, um, it's also really expensive. Well, that's something I like to complain about. <laughs> and uh, here on Champs-Élysées you have uh, many uh, brand uh, and uh, multinational companies Actually, I'm not sure they really make money, most of these places, most of these shops, but they are here for the name. So they are here on Champs-Élysées and they can say we have a, pl we have a shop uh, located on Champs-Élysées and that's how they can make uh, money. You can see, for example, uh, Nespresso and you have many international uh, brands. Even some shops, uh, I knew, I know before there was a McDonald's, I'm not sure, I know the McDonald's is still open, but there was a fast food restaurant, a KFC, then it was a shutdown, didn't make enough money. So here the rent is so high that they cannot really uh, make business, it's more for the image. And there is one last thing that is also related to China, that is the Arc de Triomphe. So um, uh, it's something that uh, Chinese tourists, when they come here, they will uh, to France, they will visit the Eiffel Tower, they will visit Galerie Lafayette and do the shopping and they will also come to Champs-Elysées, go to the Louvre and here on the Arc de Triomphe this is uh, really a symbol for them because it's a symbol of uh, victory and that's uh, interesting that you will see quite often Chinese people standing there in the middle of the Champs-Elysées <laughs> and uh, making um, the, the victory sign and taking the picture uh, or taking the video or the picture in uh, just in front of, of Arc de Triomphe. I will show you how it looks like in the V, the V with the hand. And uh, in fact, um, if you, uh, so it looks like this, okay, you, like this, you know. <laughs> It's really funny that they will always do this and uh, in fact if you look back at history this uh, sign was uh, it was fr the first French president from the fifth republic de Gaulle who did this victory uh, symbol I think it was at the end of the of the war uh, I'm not sure when it was I think it was at the end of the war uh, during the liberation of uh, Paris liberation of, uh, of France then they, um, he, he represent uh, the freedom and came here and uh, with the Americans they went through the Arc de Triomphe as the victory, symbol of victory. Here you also have something related to China that is a publicist group which is the number two group for advertisement in, um, in the world and uh, in China I think they are the number one and they are making really good business. They have the office in Shanghai and Beijing so all these are a little bit related to China. T uh, now I will just leave you and uh, I will talk to you next time. And about uh, RV, I don't really like their product, but I was asked. I went there because I had to buy something for some Chinese uh, friend. Uh, I think the quality is not really good, and you pay for the brand more than the, than for the quality. So um, I don't really like to buy here. I think if you really want to spend money, instead of uh, you can spend the same amount of money, but instead of buying uh, the RV product, uh, just buy uh, uh, maybe Hermes or even a secondary brand that few people know. Now you have some very good brand like um, for the shoes uh, made in Germany or Italy, Italian brand like uh, Geox, and uh, they, they have also uh, some uh, uh, very good product. And if you use it. You can use it several years, you don't need to change it uh, once every two years, as is the case for uh, many of these RV products. I will, I will leave you for now, take care and see you next time.